by this police there. You can see that. Ay, ay, ay. Alrighty, so I'm gonna take this down 0.9 miles. Just trying to stay on the part here that's somewhat smooth. Jeez. So it's about nine o'clock in the morning and it's cold and I have a signal back. Let's see what the weather is. What's the weather? 40 degrees. Okay. Well, that's not bad. That's like a degree warmer than what I've been experiencing all day. So. I guess I could live with that. Yeah, that'll do. Open Google Maps. Alright, so it looks like I'm going to take this down a little bit and make a right on 7 North. Okay, so this is a nice little town. Uh, Alright, just has to... Or actually, I'm on 7 North from now. Nice little town, a little busy. But it is a, it is a Tuesday morning, so I guess that's to be expected. have this uh, one of these little wireless pads that I use to that I'm using to charge my phone basically it just run I just stuck it on to on I use some double-sided stick tape and I stuck it on to the uh, onto the RAM mount and plug it into the charger back there and that pretty much keeps my phone charged my phone is not left a hundred since I've left the house <laughs> I'm so serious it has not left a hundred you know so it's been uh, it's been actually pretty good that thing has been pretty good and I've been running GPS LTE no Wi-Fi and Bluetooth connected to the Xena and that thing is Steady on a hundred, and I cannot complain. I think my battery is dead. I'll pull over somewhere and change it real quick. If I could find somewhere, pull over and change it. I don't know what the heck that is? I don't really want to pull over in someone's driveway. Put a new battery on, uh, in, I should say. A little windy up here. Yeah, 
And there goes Dave. Well, there goes his bike anyway. Not particularly too sure where he is. He's got to be around here somewhere. Hopefully he's staying warm. He's probably inside getting his, his coffee on. And there's that beautiful, this beautiful new uh, street glide. I believe it's a 20, I, I want to say 2018. Yeah, I think it is a 2018. Oh, okay. Yeah, so here is his bike, a beautiful 2018 street glide. And there's Dave right there. No, I'm just kidding. That's not him. So, put that on a motor. I could stay warm. All right, so we met up with Dave, and it's kind of funny because <laughs> we're both. Uh, chit-chatting with each other and we're like standing there and we're trembling <laughs> and I'm, I don't say that I'm like dude I'm like man I'm like colder now that I got off the bike than when I was on the bike because you get the residual heat from the motor and you end up staying uh you end up staying warmer but uh yeah it's a funny thing anyhow it's good to it's good to meet up with Dave it's been a while and he's been really busy with life and a lot of things going on which you know kudos to him man you know life comes first family comes first you know and then after that everything else and you know he's doing a great job with that so we are in beautiful massachusetts in the uh springfield area really nice area and we're uh, spending some time riding around. Dave's uh, pretty familiar with this area. So we're gonna grab a bite to eat. at a little diner nearby and uh, chit chat a little bit and check out some of the roads and see where we may be interested in uh, taking a ride to. And if you hadn't had a chance to uh, check out Dave's channel, man, if you don't know about him, uh, you know, riding country. You gotta know about riding country, man. Good guy. And, uh, yeah. Alright. I'll see you guys in a bit. See you in a bit. Uh, off here to the left. Alrighty. Okay. Little Rick's Cafe. That works. So we just had a nice breakfast. Thank you to Rider Country for treating me to breakfast. And I just did a little cameo on this video, which is cool. And we'll be back in bits. Head up to the Quadrat Reservoir, if I'm not mistaken. And then once we get up there, we will uh, sit in front of the camera a little bit and say hello to Dave. As you probably already know by now, we have 
been riding for most of the morning. Beautiful ride. We stopped here at this Rick's Cafe. We do breakfast right. I tell you, the breakfast tasted like my wife cooked it. Man, it was good. It was so good. Oh, I was, I was loving it. So happy that we uh, got the chance to stop there. And of course, also, a thank you to Dave. Dave treated me to a breakfast this morning. Oh, man, it was a beautiful breakfast. Great time. I should have brought that toast with me. barely see Exited the highway, riding through a nice town over here. I think for some reason my left glove cut out on me. Not exactly sure why. It's a nice little river over here. Sure, what direction that's flowing in? I feel like we're going. I feel like we're going north, and it looks like that's flowing probably up that way. Oddly enough. Dave knows where we are. I don't know where I'm at. <laughs> it was up to me. I'll just be in navigation. Like, all right, make a right, make a left. I'm like, okay, fine. <laughs> uh, during the summer, though, I would like to bring the wife up here. If we get a day and, you know, we can take a ride up here. That would be cool. Nobody's coming good. Tracks. Oh, it, it goes that little stream. Little stream again there. Hey, you guys, check out these beautiful orchards. Isn't it just beautiful? I love, I lo always love orchards. Oh, look, they got peacocks over here. Look at that. Oh, beautiful birds. I remember as a kid going to the zoo and, uh, and seeing and seeing the peacocks is always something that you always appreciate it. No matter how weird that sounds, you always appreciate it. Some of you are probably cracking up in the comments. Especially Mr. NC Stoney. Over here, dude, these look like uh, apple trees, but we're like just out the season, so that's pretty much probably done for. The most part, as you can see. It turned out to actually be a very nice day. Um, 
as you can see with the clouds and 